the question is about comparison of quantities we are going to compare two quantities quantity one which is son's age at the time of release and quantity two which is the average of the present ages of deepak and divyam okay so let's work on quantity one first i'll do one thing i'll use different colors for uh, different solutions different uh, quantities so that you don't get confused okay so let's i mean just to otherwise it will look messy so i'm i'm trying to I'll, i'll do one thing i'll solve quantity 1 in this color sun says at the time of release and we'll solve quantity 2 in some other color and i'm doing this because i have the advantage of doing it. i mean i have the flexibility of luxury of doing it <laughs> otherwise no way anyway so sun's age at the time of release we are focusing on sun's age at the time of release if his father ramesh was sentenced to imprisonment for 28 years now let us assume that sun's age is s and father's age is f right what age is age is at the time of release sun's age at the time of release is s father's age also at the time of release will be f yes or no father's age also at the time of release is going to be f okay s and f are the ages at the time of release okay father at the time of release now ramesh is the name of the father anyway that doesn't matter was sentenced to imprisonment for 28 years he was sentenced for 28 years now remember at the time of his release his son was four more than half his age at the time of his release meaning what at the time of his release he was f years old and son was s years old these are the ages at the time of release now the question says at the time of release his son was four more than half his age which means the first equation would be this s was mean equal to four more than half his age four more so four plus half his age four plus f by 2 that's the first equation his son was four more than half his age half his age is f by 2 four more than that four plus f by 2 was the age of the son when at the time of release we have considered the ages at the time of release to be s and f respectively now understand if the ages at the time of release are s and f what were the ages when he was sentenced to jail see he was sentenced for how many years 28 years that means on the day of release ages are s and f when the father was sent to jail the ages were s minus 28 and f minus 28 respectively Yes or no? S minus twenty eight and F minus twenty eight because twenty eight years ago, exactly twenty eight years ago, his father was sent to jail because total imprisonment was for twenty eight years. Now remember, remember this point: S minus twenty eight and F minus twenty eight. Now the next point: at the time of release, his son was four more than half his age. This is done. Next point: four years before the sentence, he was six times his son's age. Four years before the sentence, see, at the time of sentence, he was F minus twenty eight. Four years before this, which means F minus twenty eight. Minus four, four years again down uh, before four years ago. So four years before, which means further subtraction by four years. So four years before the sentence, he was six times his son's age. He is who the father. So four years before the sentence, father's age would be f minus twenty eight minus four. He was six times his son's age. What was son's age? See, son's age at the time of sentencing was f minus twenty eight, but four years before that, his age was f minus twenty eight minus four. You get it? So these are the two equations. Solve for the two equations, you'll get the answer. You are able to follow. We are assuming that ages at the time of release are s and f. So at the time of sentencement, where f s minus twenty eight, f minus twenty eight. Four years before the sentencing, which s minus thirty two and f minus thirty two. I mean, I can directly write thirty two, thirty two also, but yeah. Anyway, so these are the two equations. What do you have to solve for? You have to solve for son's age s. S is equal to what? Solve for s. So I think from this I can say f is equal to uh, two times of s minus four. F is equal to s minus four into two, two times of s minus four. Now substitute that s equals to two times of s minus four in this position here. And overall, get the answer. Oh, sorry, this should be s. I have taken f. I am sorry about this. I have taken f on both the sides. This should be s. Son six times his son's age, right? Six times his son's age. Six. Now substitute. What do we get? You have to solve for it. No choice. So two s minus eight. F is equal to two s minus two into four eight. Two s. Minus eight, minus twenty eight, minus four is minus thirty two. Equals to how much is this? Six s minus you know twenty eight and four is thirty two. Six into thirty two. And now you have to simplify this. So I think I'll get six s minus two s. Four s equals to six into two thirty two minus thirty two is five into thirty two. Five into thirty two is one sixty. One sixty minus eight is one fifty two. Yeah. So four s is one fifty two, which means s is equal to thirty eight. S is equal to thirty. Sun's age is thirty. So the quantity one is thirty eight. Remember, quantity one is thirty eight. Now do the quantity two. 
this is q1 calculation let me do q2 calculation no need of using different colors and all that drama okay let's let's take the quantity 2 now what is quantity 2 average of present ages of deepak and divyam so we have to find out the average of the present ages of deepak and divyam work on that so this was quantity 1 this is quantity 2 Okay, see what it says. Their present ages are in the ratio of 41, 9 by 11 is to 32, 6 by 7. We have to first work on this. Deepak and Divyam, right? So, let's say age of Deepak is E and age of Divyam is I. I mean, I cannot use D and D. So, E and I. E for Deepak, I for Divyam. I am taking the next character basically. So, what is he saying? E by I. E is to I is equal to uh, 41, 9 by 11. 41 9 by 11 and 32 6 by 7. So directly simplify, no? 49, 41 into 11 plus 9 is to, you know, you know this calculation, right? How do we simplify mixed fractions into improper fractions? 32 into 7 plus 6 by 7, right? 32 times 7 plus 6 by 7. I mean, you should do it mentally. I'm just writing it here so that you know what calculation has been done. Yeah, so 41 into 11, uh, 410 plus 41, 451 plus 9, 460. This is 460 by 11. 32 into 7, so 210 plus 14, uh, 224 plus 6, 230. 230 by 7. Yeah, again, I think 230 gets cancelled twice, two times here. So final ratio will be 2 into 7, 11. Uh, 2 into 7, 14 is to 11. 14. So present ages are in the ratio 14 is to 11. E is to I. Yeah, so 14x and 11x. Now, three years hence, the ratio of the ratios will be 5 is to 4. So, 14x and 11x. Now, 3 years hence. What do you mean by 3 years hence? After 3 years. So, after 3 years, age will be 14x plus 3 divided by 11x plus 3. This is equal to 5 by 4. See, options are not there. If options are given, we could have solved without using this, without doing this calculation. But here, since options are not there, exact calculation needs to be done. So, solve for x now. From this solve for x, 14 into 4, 56x. 5 into 11, 55x. 56x minus 55x, x equals to 5 into 3, 15 minus... 3 into 4, 12. 15 minus 12, 3. X comes out to be 3. So, what are the present ages? 14X and uh, 11X, right? So, 14 into 3, uh, 42 and 11 into 3, 33. What is he asking us to find out? Average of their present ages. So, average of their present ages will be what? Uh, 42 plus 33. 42 plus 33 divided by 2. Do that. 75 by 2 basically 75 by 2 is 37.5 37.5 so the quantity 2 is 37.5 now do the comparison 38 and 37.5 clearly quantity 1 is more than quantity 2 quantity more 1 is more than quantity 2 q1 is more than q2 option 3 is the answer